I paid $2,000 for this office chair. <laughs> this is the Herman Miller Embody Gaming Chair. They have a regular Embody and then they have the Gaming Edition, which they did in partnership with Logitech, a brand that I'm sure every gamer here would be familiar with. And not just gamers, but I guess tech people in general, because Logitech also just does things like mice, keyboards, things like that. But they partnered up with Herman Miller and they did a gaming chair, probably the most, if you know, if not the most, one of the top most expensive chairs, specifically gaming chairs. And while there isn't a ton of difference between the normal Embody chair and the gaming edition, there are a couple. Uh, the first and foremost, like kind of the big difference being is that there's some extra padding in the seat of this chair compared to the normal Embody version, as well as a cooling gel that they use and a little bit different of a fabric. We're gonna talk about this chair. We're gonna do a review on this chair. If you don't know who I am, my name is Derek. Stick around for the intro and then uh, we're gonna jump right into it when we roll it back. All right guys, so like I said, I paid $2,000 for this office chair. I think it's uh, retail price is $16.95, but with tax and everything, it came to like 18 something, 19 something and some change, close to $2,000 for this office chair once you know you factor in the sales tax and the shipping and all of that stuff. They do run specials all the time on their chairs. And in fact, they were running a 15% off sale on all of their chairs when I bought this. However, for whatever reason, the gaming embodied chair does not ever seem to be included in those promotions. What? With that said, it's about a $2,000 chair and the question is gonna be, is it worth it? That's what everybody's wondering. Like if you're looking at a chair like this, you're probably suffering from some like back issues or something, or you know, you just work at your desk a really long time every day and you're maybe getting some lower back issues, some you know issues in your buttocks. And you're just wondering, is it worth actually spending a lot of money to get a chair that's gonna be you know, supposedly way more comfortable and things like that. And so that's what I hope to answer today. You know, obviously this is a an office chair. So like, you know, reviewing an office chair, like I've watched a couple office chair reviews in my days, if I'm being honest of my own, uh, even of this chair when I went to buy it. And most of them are like, oh, it has adjustable armrests. Wow. Like no every office chair has adjustable armrests. So instead I want to kind of talk about now using it for like a month, what I actually think of it, whether it's actually helped with anything. If I did not own this chair right now and knowing what I know today, would I still jump on the website and buy this chair? With that said, I do want to talk a little bit about some of the features of this chair uh, that I did find impressive. I've now owned a couple different office chairs. The most expensive one being like a $400 office chair up until this point that was also an ergonomic chair, you know, had a lot of features and stuff, but still nowhere near the features this hat. First and foremost, the big thing about this chair is the back. If you look at it, the back of this basically is kind of like these 30 little points where this plastic connects the chair. And so what this does is it actually makes the back extremely, and I mean extremely flexible. Uh, it also lets it kind of hug your back perfectly. It doesn't have an actual lumbar support, it just kind of has the, you know, the, the curve built in um, and there's not really a way to adjust lumbar, but the way that this back is designed and with the back adjustment, which we'll talk about here in a minute, you can pretty much get this thing to fit the natural shape of your body perfectly. And honestly, that's about the most important thing on this chair, in my opinion, is dialing in that back. Unfortunately, there's some dog hair on this as well. Uh, some of the B-roll shots I got, I cleaned it up as best I could, but two dogs, man. It definitely attracts the pet hair, if you're wondering, and even gets stuck in like the little fabric, the hairs, and you got to manually pull them out. You can't just take a roller in. So hey, that's one thing to know about the fabric is that kind of sucks if you have dogs. Moving back into the office chair. So this back, once you get this dialed in, I think this is really what makes this chair shine. And if you don't get this dialed in perfectly and it takes a little bit of messing around with, you're gonna have issues with this chair, I think. Another cool feature of the seat is, again, the back is very narrow, very flexible, which is cool. It lets you really move around, stretch and stuff while you're gaming. You know, you don't have to like get up out of the back of your chair and stretch. And I mean, you just, you just stretch, you stretch to the left, stretch to the right. The back of this chair moves with you. However, with that said, with the back being really narrow and stuff, the seat of the chair is actually really large. And not only is it really large, but it also has these two handles on the side that you can lift up on and you can pull the seat back or you can pull the seat out. 
and it doesn't gain you like a ton more, maybe like an extra, I don't know, two inches that it'll make the chair come out to make sure that it's resting in the proper spot under your legs here. But it's just, it's really large. I mean, even me being a big guy, you know, plenty of times I'll pull my leg up or whatever and wanna sit down. And I mean like plenty of space to do that, rest the leg comfortably, the foot, you know, whereas other office chairs, being as big of a guy I am, 6'1", I normally can't put my legs up on my seat because I'm normally sitting to the end of the seat. So I love that it has a nice large seat. I also like the mechanism in which the chair goes up and down. It's just this little blue, little, uh, you know, little stick thing here. You can do it up, down, left, right. Doesn't matter, you just push it all the way out from the center to one direction and the seat lowers. Obviously, if you're not sitting in the seat and do it, the seat raises. And then you have this back adjustment, which what this back adjustment does is it actually changes the shape of this back here. And it'll cause it to almost feel like this is moving up or down on your back, which it kind of is because it like adjusts the chair, really. See how that moves like that? You see how that's hugging in? That's kind of what it does. It, it like hugs in more, makes that curve up there if you really tighten it. So you got more of a curve here. Um, that's really, you know, kind of the support of the back and changes how this, you know, kind of thing sits against your back almost. And that's kind of like the lumbar support on it. It also has like five locks of where you can adjust the seat. You can have it locked one, two, three, four, four, not five, I lied. I trusted you. But anyways, you know, you can lock it so it's straight up, then you can have it so they can go back a little bit and then a little bit more. And I have this kind of tight, so it's not gonna work, but you get the idea. Basically, you can allow it to do that. And then that is basically the chair. I mean, the arms, they go up and down, of course, and they also go in and out. So you can kind of get them adjusted wherever you need them. And the other really cool thing, first office chair I've had where the armrests go this low, which is nice because if I don't want to use them or I want to give my shoulders kind of a break of being up a little bit like this and really let them get down or just get them out of my way if I'm meditating, whatever. Um, I meditate a lot in my office chair. And so normally, you know, I like putting my arms on my legs like this. With any other office chair I've had, you know, my arms are not on the armrest, so they're sticking up like this, and I'm like resting them like this, meditating. It's really nice that these go all the way down. I like that, it's really cool. So with all of that set, the real question is, like I said, is the chair worth $2,000? How does it work in real life? I'm gonna be honest. When I first got the chair, I was super, super nervous. I mean, I dropped, again, almost $2,000 on this chair, pretty close to it. And it was one of the most uncomfortable chairs I have ever sat in in my life, or so it felt like. And that lasted for like the first two or three days. And what it was, was this back, back fit adjustment to make this thing really fit your back. It was pushing all in the wrong spots and I did not understand how this thing worked. I did not understand how to set this thing properly. And so the first two days that I had it, super, super uncomfortable. My back was hurting. I'm like, oh my God, I just wasted $2,000. I had already like basically cut up the box and threw it out and you gotta have the original box to return the chair, you know, with their warranty. But I was just, I don't, I guess I just thought so much that it was gonna be awesome and amazing that, you know, I didn't need the box. It was gonna be fine, all of that stuff. So with that said, it sucked. But what I finally figured out is if you loosen this all the way, so counterclockwise, and get the back nice and loose, you can kind of sit up straight in it and you can just turn it. And it helps if you have a second person, in my opinion. My wife did this for me. But you just slowly turn it as you're sitting there in the chair and see where it feels like it just kind of, like it'll hit a point where it just feels like it kind of conforms right to your back. And then that's like the perfect spot for it. And it takes a while to get that. And even after you think you got it, you'll realize after a couple more days when you're still getting a little bit of soreness and stuff that it's still, you know, you got to tweak it a little bit. But eventually if you keep messing with it, I think you find that sweet spot. And you'll hear a lot of people talk about Herman Miller chairs and why they're so great is when they're finely tuned, when you hit that spot, you'll, you'll hear people talk about like, oh, it feels like you're floating on a cloud. Like you're just floating in the air. Like the chair's not there. And that's kind of the whole point of these chairs of where to get you is that you do kind of feel like that, that you're supported, but you don't feel the support. And as you adjust all of that, you kind of hit a point where you hit that sweet spot and, and that's what it feels like. You'll know you hit that sweet spot because that's what it feels like. It feels like the chair disappears. 
Um, whereas with normal office chairs and stuff, even if they're super ergonomic, even if they're super comfortable, you know, after a couple hours, two, three hours, you're kind of like, oh, oh, oh. It's like the chair just disappears. There is no of that, oh, oh. Like you just, you're fine. You can sit in it all damn day if you wanted and you're most likely gonna be fine. Now, I mean, I, that's coming from somebody that has a pretty normal back and stuff. I don't have a lot of back issues, anything like that. Might be different, you know, your mileage may vary. But I understand what people are talking about at least now when they say that the chair disappears and it kind of becomes like you're floating on a cloud, blah, 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 blah. Cause you do, you reach that point. But it does not come immediately. So if you do end up purchasing this chair or any chair like it, and you decide to drop big money on it like that, realize it could take upwards of a month to really get to this place where it actually feels like the most comfortable chair you've ever sat in. I've mentioned this a couple times, I think when talking about other things on the channel, but I'm kind of like, as I get older, I've become more of like, you know, invest the money in good stuff that you're gonna use all the time. And the thing is like, it might seem like a lot of money, but over time you're not like, these chairs last forever. These chairs like 15 years old still sell online you know, used for 800 to a thousand dollars. So, I mean, like after all that time, they're still worth a ton of money, you know, at least like half of the money, what you paid for it. If you're using it all the time and you're keeping it, $2,000, you know, over the course of 20, 30 years is not that much. I mean, we buy houses over with a 30 year note for, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. And so it's really not that bad when you think of it like that. And that's exactly how I thought about it. Kind of an investment in my health, my back, my hips, my buttocks and everything from being at a computer so much. I mean, I am the type of person that I try to walk. If you watch my vlogs by chance, I walk every day. I do body weight exercises at home. You know, I take breaks and do push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, you know, squ squats, just everything. Just to try to stay as active as I can, even though working at a computer. Uh, but still, it takes a toll on your body over time if you don't have something super comfortable and stuff. Bottom line is, after about a month, my back is feeling great. My foot is feeling great. It definitely seems to be helping. Um, I'm not back at 100% yet. And, and admittedly, I've been doing other things. I've been going to a chiropractor. I've also seen a foot doctor who gave me some insoles, which those didn't work. But nonetheless, my point being, there's been other things. So I can't say the chair healed my back and foot entirely. But I definitely think along with the chiropractor specifically, uh, this and the chiropractor have really helped it come a long way as of getting it back to normal. If you specifically have back issues or maybe issues with your tailbone or things like that, then maybe you know you need to go something higher like this. But I will say now that I'm getting it dialed in and maybe I'll have to do like a three month update because again, I've had it about a month now. But in the last week, I've really started to see what this chair can become. I find myself, whereas I would have to get up every hour or two and have to do stretching or have to do this or that. With this chair, I find myself forgetting to get up and do that because I don't feel like I need it. So it's been more of me having to remind myself to get up and stretch and get up and do a couple body weight exercises. And so I think that speaks to the testament of this chair that it is indeed comfortable and it will indeed give you a lot more comfort sitting in it. I just think there might be other options that don't cost $2,000 unless you have, maybe you're like me and you've tried several other office chairs, then you know, yes, definitely go for a chair like this. You might be like, oh, well, if I would have just bought this chair, I wouldn't waste them on other office chairs. But again, I think the chance of you actually needing this is so low that, that the risk you're taking to try to buy a cheaper office chair and see if that works for you is very low. I just don't think most people need this type of chair. But if you do, I think this chair is exactly what you need. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below. I do a lot of tech videos and stuff. I guess I consider this tech just because of the amount of research and stuff that goes into the engineering that goes into coming up with some of these designs and ideas and stuff for office chairs that do make them way more comfortable for us that have to be sitting all the freaking time. All right, love your faces. Thanks so much for the love, the support. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out everybody. Later nerds.